Uh, so today we'll be covering search techniques. Uh, the uh, the what all we'll be covering today is binary search, turn research, uh, technique called as meet in the middle, uh, some iterative approaches, and randomized algorithms. Now, uh, search techniques, other than first topic, is mostly is considered a uh, medium or fairly advanced topic. So uh, it will mostly be used as probably a differentiator between the top team in the regionals and the second team in the regionals. So, uh, okay. So uh, how binary search works is we work with a range, and at each iteration, I almost con I almost get in the next iteration, I will be working with a range which is about half the size. So, uh, so let's assume that the range has initially n elements. Then, after x steps, I'd be working with something of the order n by 2 power x. Uh, so, uh, because of this, the time taken is logarithmic. So, uh, for example, the very basic example of mind research is to search in a uh, in a linearly sorted array. So, if I were to do a linear search, it would have taken me a linear time, which is theta n. And if I were to do a binary search, assuming the condition that you require is that the array is sorted, then I can get logarithmic time to get the element. Uh, alternatives, when I talk about this array searching, is I can use hash tables, which is actually a very interesting data structure and which probably is very less used in our present day contest and which probably you should you probably use more than you know use maps etc but uh, yeah we'll discuss more about hash tables in our uh, final final discussion final contest discussion okay so uh, binary search some trivia about binary search the first 18 implementations were buggy i'm talking about production code in the in the 80s the uh, there were first there were 18 implementations of binary search that is all the 18 iterations of binary search were buggy uh, in in the unix production code so although it is a very simple idea it is not that easy to get right the first time so uh, extra care should be extra care should be given about uh, how you maintain the loop invariant and whether you are actually decreasing the bound or whether you will end up in an infinite loop so okay the ba very basic problem statement of binary searches find a value in a sorted sequence uh, so uh, so uh, to to say the algorithm in an english way it's just like take a high pointer and a low pointer and keep cutting the space between them in half until they run into each other oops so uh, please also check an excellent tutorial by lovro on top core educational content on binary search so uh, it is mostly programming contest oriented and uh, i think that uh, it's it's mostly top core oriented but then uh, it give, it also discusses all the issues you will come across when you write a binary search code uh, we will go into the most basic version of binary search where i am searching for an, el uh, an element in the sorted array in programming context we would not we would be working with a, a different variant of binary search called as discrete variant but uh, the idea remains the same so uh, i am given a vector int a venkatesh yesterday discussed stls vector is a dynamic array and i am also given a target which is what i am searching so i initialize two pointers low and high which means the current range that i am looking at so uh, then i just compute mid this is probably the safest way to compute mid than high plus low by 2 because you will be avoiding uh, overflows if you write it this way. If you write it high plus low by 2 and if uh, you are searching over the range 1 to 1 e 9 after the first iteration it will be that is after multi 1 to 2 e 9 after multiple iterations you might get an overflow. So uh, this is probably the best way to write it or you will have to typecast it to bigger data types which is not probably which is not the preferred method. Uh, so uh, if I if mid is the target, then I return mid. This returns the index of index of target, or it returns minus one when it is not found. So and if a mid is less than target, I can be sure that uh, the solution is from low to mid minus one. If a mid is greater than target, I can be sure that the solution is from mid plus one to high. Okay, next slide. Uh, so it's uh, log n comparison. So uh, one million items will take around 20 iterations. It's like 20. Uh, we, in fact, if you do about one million iterations, that takes one second. So you can imagine how fast 20 iterations will run. Uh, 
All right, so whenever possible, it is better that you use your library code for binary search. So yesterday, Venkatesh discussed lower bound, upper bound. There are other STL functions like binary underscore search and equal underscore range, which, I mean, because binary search is tricky to implement, if you can use these, that will be the best thing to do. And of course, you will, instead of five lines, it will just be one line. So whenever possible, try to plug in these uh, functions instead of writing your own. And uh, if, you're, if you're a Java user, there's arrays.binary search to search in an array. Uh, next slide. Okay, now we'll get into the programming contest part of binary search, which is called as discrete binary search. So until now, we have been working with an array. That is, we have an, but in discrete binary search, we will just have an underlying sequence, which of course is not given to us as a vector int. So uh, uh, now we define a function f, so the array the function f was whether mid is le whether a bracket a at that position is less than target a at that position is greater than target so when we talk about discrete binary search we are not we no longer have the array we are just working with an imaginary sequence so uh, we define a function f which is called as a predicate what is what is a predicate is that uh, uh, predicate is something which returns is a boolean function which either returns true or false so if i talk about the array array representation my predicate would be is the number less than or equal to x so predicate so i define a function f uh, okay uh, i define a function p over the search space s such that p should hold this property if p returns true for x it should return true for every y greater than x so for example if i say that is a bracket 10 greater than 20, if it returns yes, then it should return true yes for a bracket 11, a bracket 12, up to a, uh, up to the, uh, all the remaining elements of it. So, uh, yeah, to solve a problem by binary search, we must aim to design a predicate such that, uh, such that we can formulate it in terms of this predicate. Okay, so now I write a new binary search code in which I assume a discrete function p, which is a predicate. So now I give binary search low comma high. I have chosen to write it in an iterative way than recursive way because uh, although theory remains same, we really re we we really should concentrate on reducing the constant. So uh, mid is again high plus low by two. If predicate of mid is true, then I should be looking. That means mid is surely a value which for which it satisfies. So I can just look at uh, low comma mid. If predicate of uh, if predicate of mid is false, then of course I need not look uh, from mid. I can always look from mid plus one. So my I can change my bound to mid plus one to high. So and please note this is a very common error. Uh, your low and high there might not be a solution between your low and high. That is you might be searching for something and this something might not really exist in the range that you're searching. So please take special care about a final line which says if p of low is still false that means your search has failed return a sentinel or whatever your problem requires and otherwise return low uh, or low plus high by two or something if you're working with doubles <coughs> all right uh, bugs in binary search one bad bounds which i just said you would be giving a bound assuming that this would cover all the instances and later you'll realize that uh, okay i should have probably used into 10 because there is that is uh, i could have pr i know a solution where the answer could go to 10 times what i'm using or something like that so please be extra because it's a logarithmic function you can actually give 10 times and it will just be probably three more iterations so uh, uh, try to be very lenient about bounds because uh, the number of iterations that it increases is fairly low of course and keep track of overflow uh, which I think I not mentioned in my points but and another thing you must keep track of is overflow while computing mid while computing F anything like that could again uh, not go well with your logic so uh, again low comma high might not have any solution so you should take special care to ensure that you are checking this condition which is actually a very common error which most people uh, unless it's explicitly specified in the statement Excuse. yeah why is that an error i'm sorry why is that an error why is why that is an error 
Uh, uh, no, uh, what I'm saying is bugs you might write when you when you write a code and when you submit it or uh, and uh, it doesn't work. It could be because that is you are not handling this case where the solution does not lie in your search space. It's it's not a bug as such. That is, it's not a bug of binary search. It's a it's a bug that you might encounter while writing a solution. So mm, yeah, infinite loop. This problem. Uh, can I just go to the previous slide again? So. In fact, although this looks fairly simple, in, if I had written low equal to mid here, this would have gone into an infinite loop. Can anyone tell me why it goes in, into an infinite loop? That is, we all know how binary search works for doubles. So, if I had gone by the doubles convention and if I had just written low equal to mid, then this would have gone into an infinite, uh, infinite cycle. Uh, high equals low plus one. Uh, the y condition is low less than high. So low will be high and mid will be low. Okay. Yeah, so it will just, that is 0, 0,1 would be in. So, uh, uh, what I'm saying is that 0, 0,1 is all, so whenever you write binary search, please try to check whether it works for 0, 0,1 or just uh, uh, search space with just two elements because uh, that is one case where it almost always gets into infinite loop because predicate need not always be false 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 and then true 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 it could be the other way around where it is true 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 and then false 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 and if it is that way okay uh, did uh, did you understand what is what i mean by true 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 false is it is true until a value x and after that it's false so easiest way easiest fix to that is return not p and compute it this way this is a time tested way which will never fail or you will have to do a high plus low plus one and that is there is the plus or minus one involved which of course uh, which will co will be covering in a practice problem today so in case you have any queries then we can address it then otherwise uh, but the idea is to figure out why it goes into an infinite loop okay uh, so always if possible if your search range includes 0 and 1 check on 0 and 1 otherwise check on two consecutive elements in your search space check if it if it uh, if it goes in an infinite loop with your loop invariance there uh, ensure that your code is such that the search space at least reduces by 1 in the next iteration that is why it goes in an infinite loop is because you are searching on the same thing multiple times so you must ensure that you must prove by looking at it or you must prove it prove in some way that the, in the next iteration i'll be looking at at least one element lesser than what i have in the current iteration if it's at least one element lesser i i i'm i'm guaranteed termination and it will never enter into an infinite loop so uh, alternate approach there are alternate approach that is the many programmers compute have uh, many conventions of binary search like uh, uh, one another approach of binary search is to lose if you're searching from low to high set if you're searching from a to b set low to a plus one high to b plus one and then in uh, writing the loop invariance like that which is uh, which is the preferred approach by some some people but then uh, it's just a, a matter of choice and it is up to you to decide how you write your binary search and uh, uh, if you're practicing I think uh, maybe you should be fairly comfortable by, with binary search in about after doing about some five or ten problems which and there are a lot of problems in binary search it, they, it comes as a uh, subroutine for a lot of problems involving max flow also so uh, you should be fairly comfortable with it by the end of the camp. So, okay, the problem that we will be looking at is podge AGGR cow. Okay, so you are given n stalls, uh, n can go up to 10 power 5, and you are given the uh, and you are also given the x coordinates of the stall. You can look at the x coordinate bounds there. You have to assign c cows to these n stalls such that the minimum distance between two occupied bonds is to be maximized. So, uh, that's, if I draw the number line here and if I have bonds at position 0, 3, 6 and 7 and if I had to assign two cows, if I had to assign two cows, if I assign them here, the minimum distance between them is 1. But if I assign them here, this okay. If I had to assign three cows, just for the sake of simplicity, just for an extra case, if I had to assign three cows, if they, uh, if I assign them here, here, and here, uh, the minimum distance is one. Uh, this distance is three, and this is one, so it is one. But if I assign them here, 
here and here the minimum distance would be 3 and 4 so it will be 3 so idea is to maximize the minimum distance a rule of thumb that you must follow is whenever it's maximize the minimum or minimize the maximum